I'm Liv Kenya and my friends and I are traveling from Nairobi, Kenya all the way to Cape Town, South Africa. You're using the garden route, using this car. This is our story.
just know you especially if you are in, in south africa usually when when you register a car they get all your details they just send that to your mail and you'll be expected to pay but if you are a foreigner like me driving in south african roads if the policeman spots you because they do not know your address they will follow you and then you'll have to pay the fine Having high tea. No, no, I put everything in tools. This is high tea. I feel so special. Wow. This is more Indian. Yes. More Indian than, than the pies. The pies, are, the pies are English. Then the meatballs. We are getting spoiled. Yeah. yeah this one will need more water. Yes. You could, they could call what succulent. Succulents is that, like that. This, we are still in Kafilo's uh, place. We just went to add some, what do you call it? Some power steering oil, it had gone down a bit. Now, yesterday night, Patrick had a proper toothache. <laughs> you know the one, the one that you, you just go to the doctor and they tell you we can do, we can do a root canal and then you're like, no, just get rid of it. That kind of toothache. The one that feels like labor so he had that yesterday and he's gone to the dentist and it has been removed so i think everyone is happy now we can continue with our journey but first let's wait for him to get here and then we see how swollen his mouth is <laughs> look at the sad <laughs> i'm not being a sadist eh? it, it, he had that problem but the but the gum was swollen before we left so it could not be removed so it looks like you would have to have a South African dentist experience. But otherwise, we are enjoy really enjoying our stay. All these people are just good sent. Jane, Jane, yes? we've gotten a, a South African family, right? Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. And uh, we are really grateful. Yeah. We're so happy. We're so happy. They're too they're kind. So kind. They've been so generous, generous to us. Yeah. They have been a great support. Mm -hmm. And we really thank God. And so, be nice to people. They will help you someday. You guys, there's some, uh, there's some aromat. Everything tastes good with some aromat. Mm -hmm. Wow. The chicken. The chicken is on point. When I grow up, I will live in South Africa. Everything in South Africa is good. This is our national soccer team. Yes, soccer team. Wow. Uh, so, you must support you us. I don't know. When they are playing in Kenya. I don't know whether I should throw it up and <laughs> Yay, rugby. We just won the other day. <laughs> yes. yes. Everyone was in this. Yes. Oh. yes, we were in the market and we gave them and they were like, it, they, they, all they're all that. We have you gotten you some gifts. Yes. This one is for the it's for the for the heat. And then this one. Onion, yes. onion. <laughs> we all have jazzy. Asante, asante, asante. <laughs> you guys have been so kind. You have no idea. We feel like we have a family in South Africa. Yes. And we'll be back. Yes. For sure, we'll be, you guys are the reasons why we are going to come back. So far, we've not had any problems. South yes. Africans have been very kind, very generous. Yeah. I even wonder where they say the insecurity is. Yeah. Because if it is insecurity in Johannesburg or maybe Petra, it's just like any other city. Yeah. Even in Kenya, you have to be vigilant. You yes. can just walk in yes. house. 
Now with so many people offering for you accommodation and yeah. what, please come and it was so great. Yes, at the border. Yes. Even invited us for lunch. Yes. We even went to his church. We are just like that. People from South Africa. Yeah. Just like that. Mm. For the Springbok. The Springbok, mm. yes. It's, it's, it's their it's national, national animal. Yes. yes. I just learned that one in Mandela, in the Mandela Foundation. Foundation. Yeah. Oh, you saw Mandela Foundation? Yes, okay. I learned about that there. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 okay. yeah. And the protein. Uh, Apsa is a sponsor then. Uh -huh. The first one. It's a bank. It's a amalgamated bank. Mm -hmm. And the protein is our national flower. Protein is our national flower. flower. Ah. Yeah. We've just had one of the best days ever in South Africa. We won! <laughs> I'm so excited. You have no idea how many people have asked me to get this one for them. People in, in Kenya, my friends. See them, Brayden. And I'm lucky to have it for free. For my new family. <laughs> I have a jersey. She has a jersey. Her very first jersey. This is my second one. I have a hat. And a jersey. Jen yeah. also has another one. I have a hat in my jersey, but uh, this is my second one. I have my Arsenal. Uh, you're an Arsenal fan. Yeah, I'm an Arsenal fan. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. You see, I'm not ashamed. She's saying she's not ashamed. You must be ashamed of my team. You must, you must be a very strong lady. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the heartbreaks that Arsenal gives people. <laughs> The box when you're there, the spin box. What? When you're in Cape Town, mm -hmm. yes. cheer them. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're coming. They're yes, coming we, to we have to. They're coming to the I hope by the time we get there, they'll be there so that we can cheer them without yeah. yeah. us. We've been crossing through very big farms, ranches and ranches of land with plenty of cattle. Now this one's look at this one. This one looks like it belongs to one person. Plenty of cows, brown and black, brown and white, brown and white. All these are just cattle. And they graze all over the entire farm. Good morning from Blomfontein. We got here very late in the evening and we got we stayed at this place. All I can say is it's just somewhere you sleep. Don't expect luxury, don't expect like extreme whatever. So per person we paid around 1000 Kenyan shillings per bed. Uh, we stayed in a family room, it had a couple of beds, so it, everyone took their own bed. Remember our destination was South Africa, we'll be going back using a different route. But now we had another group, there is, there is usually our car and Victor's car. Uh, the Victor's car and, and Victor and Vincent, they are going on a different route because our destination was to get where? South Africa. So they are going on different route, we are going on a different route. South Africa is very big. So there are some things that we need to ship home because we overpacked and we've been buying a lot of stuff on the road. Now we feel like our car is too small for some things. So we need to ship some things home. 
these ones will give we'll just donate these ones we'll donate these ones to another lady who has been so nice to us but there are some things that we are hoping will go to dhl or any other means of courier we'll send them home only the important stuff the other stuff will retain them but for now the car is like this when you travel do not buy things if you do not have enough space look at this shopping now the the crisis there is we bought extra stuff there's some things that we are storing in in victor's car uh, but because we are going in different directions we have to take them it's a crisis for today we're trying to sort the crisis but remember we always figure things out god is always with us we always figure things out and once we sort this whole mess we'll continue with our journey so i'm just telling you because these are some of the challenges we encounter as travelers and especially ladies over parking <laughs> if you're just joining us for the first time we started our journey in nairobi right now we are in blancfontaine in in uh, what do you call it it's called the val province or something but when blancfontaine is one of the cities in south africa we are just starting to explore south africa so far it's been awesome 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 people we've had only we have only the good things to talk about south africa so stay tuned as you help as you you figure we figure out what to do next and then we continue with our journey Some salad some there, veggies. and then this um, one is a beef sausage. Yeah, it's seven. How much? An extra. How much? This is sixty rand. Yours are here. I'm having dry, mm -hmm. pap, chakalaka, mm -hmm. and some kachumbari. How much? Fifty. Two drumsticks. Two drumsticks. Uh huh. Easy. Chakalaka, chakalaka. veggies, <laughs> and pap. And pap. So yummy, guys. More here. <laughs> Street food is the way to go. Huh? Adia. Yeah. Hmm. Street food is the way to go. It's even much better than the Botswana. Hmm. On the Sakalaka. And we are right next to Mimosa Mall. You have not tasted this food. Hmm. Hmm. This is Mule Monster, 18.89. I've never seen this kind of monster. Mm. This is for monster. This is and this is five five to do whatever pack. This one, Mutoluko. You see one that is for Lewis. Lewis Hamilton. And plenty of Red Bull options. Look at all those Red Bull options. The coconut one. This one is the usual, you know, coconut, apricot, sugar free. Staying one more night here in Long Fontaine, and that there is our accommodation. It's beautiful. Eh? Today is the day when we get to pump ourselves because yesterday where we slept. <laughs> Tomorrow in the morning, we'll, we'll uh, ship our, our, our clothes and some other stuff, and then we we'll go all the way to Maser. Maser is like 150 kilometers away. It is actually in a very secure neighborhood. So this is where you get to enjoy the sun and the weather and watch people as they pass by. Ta-da! Look at this. 
So when he married this, sometimes when you are in a dark place, you think you've been buried out. You've actually planted. Oh, oh, this is so cute. Have you read this note? No. You can just sit there and enjoy the TV. Yeah, extra blanket. It's always good to have extra blankets in South Africa. The weather changes like no man's business. There is air conditioning. There you go, the TV. And then you can do your breakfast here if you have some cereals or something. Or some coffee. Yes, they provide coffee sugar. And by the way, guys, South Africa's sugar is all white refined sugar. For in some in some hotels, we even thought that it was salt. It's refined sugar, very white. So once again, this is how the room looks. Quite comfortable. Yes. Now this is comfortable. You know, at times you get into this, into some rooms and then you check the bathrooms and then you're like, mm -mm, ain't sleep, ain't using that bathroom. But this one is very clean, organized. Yeah, there we go. So this is basically the room. So guys, we're going to bring in some of our stuff, do a tour of the city, check one or two things. So this place is called Beat. There you go. If you are around Blomfontein and you'd like accommodation, here is the here are the rates. So we'll just do a tour of the town. It's actually a very quiet town and it's very modern. I've seen the schools, oh my god. People who live in Blancfontein, are they public schools really? They look like these are just private schools. They are classy, classy. Oh, I would really like to know how much they charge for the school fees because when I grow up, my kids will go to such schools. <laughs> when we were at DHL, we were trying to, to pack some of our stuff in, in the box that they gave us, but they kept coming to check. They kept coming to check until until you were like, these people seem very uncomfortable. Maybe we should just leave. Thank God they allowed us to carry the box and arrange everything so that you can take it later. So we might take it to the HL or elsewhere. We have that option. Now this is how South Africans live. Mm. I guess these are the middle class, right? Yeah, these are the middle class. The cars we have seen in Blomfontein. These people buy cars with zero mileage. They don't buy cars like that are uh, used like us. Their cars are in very good condition and also the, the roads are good so it facilitates the the maintenance of the car. There are more cars than people. There are more cars than people <laughs> in Blomfontein. But we've been told that the places that we've been going around are the posh places, the middle class and the very rich are the ones who stay here. Yeah, yeah. So we are yet to see the other side of Bloemfontein. There is a veterinary hospital here. While out there, in Tanzania, why do you keep killing dogs? Do you know there is a hospital for dogs here? An entire hospital. Do we have any any, any veterinary such a big veterinary hospital, hospital in Kenya? I have never no, seen one either. either. I've never seen one. Pet center, I think. Is it as big as the one we've seen? No, 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 no. no. 
very few people use the public means most people have their cars This is supposed to be a river, but it's dry. It's very different. There are more people, but still more cars. people. South Africa has a lot of car assemblers. They assemble Mercedes cars, the Volkswagen cars. I think Ford and Hyundai. Oh, look at that child! It is still a river. You think there's water flowing? Ah, now if we need street food, this is where we come. Yes. This is the downtown side. You see now many more people, many more pedestrians. This is now the downtown, the downtown mm -hmm. Longfontein. There's business on the on the ground floor, and then the other floors have residential areas.
goes the church. Can you guys believe this? This is a very beautiful church. Let me tell you, when you come to SA, come to do shopping. Now look at us. We have to reduce the amount of clothes we have yet we every time we want to shop. We are now we are, we are actually in a dilemma. We don't know whether we should shop or we will come back next time and do the shopping or we should just donate some of our clothes so that we can do the shopping. Everything goes back to shopping. <laughs> now this is this is a waterfront mall. You can see. Front mall is the Toyota Stadium. We've come very late. I wish we knew that there was this stadium here. The architecture is very beautiful, very beautiful. Yeah. And then the, by there on the shades, we've realized that you can do some picnic. You see, there are some tables there and, and seats. I don't know what this is, but it looks like a very good venue for a wedding. It's made of this, I think, some meshed white. Some white wire mesh just made in a certain architectural way that that is beautiful. Blomfontein, beautiful, beautiful city, beautiful churches, beautiful malls. They have so many malls. I have lost count. Uh, the uptown is very clean and very posh cars. These people have they have money. Yes, the accommodation is really good, but especially the one we are staying at today very good and then they their malls have very nice clothes at a fair price we are now torn between donating clothes and buying new clothes and just sending clothes home so that it can fit in our car i'm telling you guys we're in a dilemma you know if you're a lady you understand my dilemma you really understand my my dilemma so guys i think it's time to go back home because by 6 30 the shops in the malls were already closed South Africa, you, you sleep very early. Like Afula would say, you guys love your sleep. I don't know if it is loving your sleep or you guys are scared of security issues or what. But as you walk around, everyone is just looking. Like they're scared of something and until we're like, you cannot enjoy your money in peace. Why should your money make you suffer? <laughs> The prices on the vending machine are almost double the prices outside. You see like this cork, this one, this bottled cork, yeah. it is 16, 16 rands. 16 rands. Yes, for the normal cork. That's too much. That's too expensive. The price of 2 liters. Yeah, the actually by day, there is the price of 2 liters in the supermarket. So we are having chairangi. Chairangi is black tea. Okay, that's coffee. It's coffee, but does it taste like coffee? Yes, it's actually coffee. Huh? What she's happened? Been, she's been drinking it for the past five minutes. And 
know. And then these are called cheese rolls. We're just finishing up. <laughs> so guys, today our plan is to leave Blomfontein and and head towards Maseru. Maseru is the capital city of Lesotho. And we are so excited. We don't know what to expect. But here we are. As always, we are always excited to see something new. Join us on this trip. If you have just watching this, if this is your first video or on this series or ever, you might want to subscribe because there's a lot of awesome content coming through. We just we just got to South Africa. We've been here for like the past maybe five days, and remember, we'll be in South Africa for two weeks, and then we continue to Namibia too. Malawi. We have so many other countries to go to, so stay tuned and please subscribe to the channel. The beautiful architecture in South Africa and Long Fontaine is not any different. So guys, we are back on the road on our journey to Cape Town. But first, we'll pass by Lesotho, a landlocked country within South Africa. Stay tuned for more episodes that are coming in the next couple of weeks. And please like the video and also share it with your friends and family. If you're joining me for the first time, welcome aboard. And please consider subscribing to the channel because there will be more awesome content coming today. Bye!